What is going on YouTube? My name is Irval and in today's video we're going to be talking about the three fastest ways to grow engagement on Instagram. Now for those of you who are brand new to the channel, welcome. My name is Irval and on the channel we talk about reselling side hustles and theme page content. Before I get started, I just want to say that if the camera quality is a bit different as well as if the audio quality is a bit different, that is because I am using uh, the different facing camera from my phone. I just want to try something new, try to see if it turns out better. So excuse that, but yeah, let's get on with the first and easiest way to boost engagement. Now the first method that you're gonna want to use is make sure that you're using all the features that Instagram allows you to use. So you're definitely gonna wanna be posting on your feed as well as your IG stories, as well as your Instagram reels. And if you want, you can post on IGTV. Honestly, I don't think IGTV will bring in too much engagement, but yeah, your three biggest sources right now are gonna be your feed posts, your stories, and your reels, because that's what's gonna be bringing in all of the likes, posts, and engagement. On top of that, if you have the swipe up feature, make sure you're using that as well. It might not bring in engagement, but it will bring in views to any links or any shops you decide on to your store so that will be helpful and in addition make sure you are checking the analytics section of your account now usually i do this about once a day and i make sure that the posts that i am posting um, are actually performing well if they're not i try to figure out why i try to figure out you know what's wrong if it's a hashtag if it's a post that i posted so yeah make sure you're constantly checking that as well as check see how many followers you're gaining per week and how much total engagement you've gained that week. Now moving on to the second best way to boost engagement and that is to actually uh, try expand to multiple platforms. Now I know before I have said to try use TikTok but because of the current TikTok situation I don't know if that's such a good idea anymore especially when you have Instagram Reels which is an awesome competitor to TikTok. You might not even need to use TikTok but it never hurts to try use other platforms such as Twitter uh, Facebook, Snapchat if you want. There's a bunch of other platforms up there which I definitely recommend uh, you try and expand to. Therefore, you're gonna be bringing in an audience from a different platform and well, which will lead to more followers. Now, I also wanna touch on the TikTok and IG Reels concept. Um, and the reason why I did say that Instagram Reels is actually a better, uh, I guess a better way of growing engagement than TikTok would be in bringing in those followers it's simply because I've been actually collecting data over the last couple weeks and seeing which one will get me more views as well as more likes. So let's go ahead and compare that. I'm gonna go ahead and pop up the same post that I posted on Instagram Reels and on TikTok. All right, so starting off, we have this post over here. It's got 2,546 views. Um, it's got 170 likes as well as three comments. I'm not too sure about how it's done analytically wise, but it should have brought in a good amount of engagement. If you take a look at the same post on TikTok. All right, so I found it here and it actually got taken down. That's a one zero for Instagram. If we go ahead onto a different post, hopefully the next one I'm about to choose won't be taken down. Now that's the first one that actually really took off on Instagram Reels and it has 5,802 views and it has a whopping 219 likes as well as three comments. On TikTok, it's got 2,000 and 23 views um, and in addition it's got 379 likes and six comments so i'd give that one to instagram just because it has way more views uh, if we go ahead and move on to i must say probably the most viral one that i have on instagram reels which is 58,600 views and it has 3720 likes yeah, and the same post on TikTok actually got taken down again. As you guys can see here, it is, uh, it's taken down. So yeah, if you're trying to post basically whatever it is um, and not trying to get taken down by, by TikTok algorithm, definitely Instagram is the way to go. Also, every time you get taken down on TikTok, yeah, it hurts your account algorithm wise, but there is a couple ways that TikTok is a bit helpful and that is when you get your random post to blow up, such, such as the one that got 82,000 views um, and only 607 likes, uh, but in the sat same post on um, Instagram Reels, only got around 1,249 views. So I guess yeah, the occasional post that blows up on TikTok can definitely help you out with bringing in extra followers uh, for people who do want to see extra content. But I mean, other than the every once in the blue moon post that blows up, it's not really worth your time. Now, the reason why I personally 
continue to post on TikTok just because I have such a large audience there that there's no point of just stopping the post. And I basically use the, uh, I guess the watermark, the only speeding watermark, just to kind of pop it on to my Instagram just so that every anyone who sees my Instagram Reels uh, posts can maybe go ahead and check out my TikTok without having much trouble finding it. Now my last post and possibly the most important piece of advice that possibly anybody could give you is uh, try to understand the algorithm and how the uh, and how the algorithm uh, kind of acts and reacts to the type of posts that you're posting. Now I have a pretty cool, I guess, kind of uh, layout of how the algorithm works. I found it on Instagram and I personally think that it is, that it's pretty true and I'm gonna go ahead and pop it up over here and I'm gonna go ahead and explain it. So as you guys can see in the top left corner, you have, well, you start to grow, right? You grow because you post um, and then Instagram shows that post to 10% of the total audience. After that, if they like and comment, well then that, well then Instagram knows that that post was most likely continue to grow so they'll keep showing you to more followers. But if they don't, well then it, they reduce the reach so they stop sending it to as many accounts and well, that leads to you not growing, therefore that post will just die. Now on the other hand, if people are liking and commenting, starts to push it to more people and then those people stop engaging to it, well then Instagram thinks that the post has lost its potential of growing and Instagram will stop showing that post to other people. Now, if, but now, if those people do on the hand start to engage, well Instagram thinks that the post has a lot more potential and will throw it up on the explore page. Now once your post does reach the explore page, well then you're definitely gonna grow because the explore page is basically where all of the best of the best posts go. And if you are trying to even find content, I personally recommend go to your explore page, see what's at the top of your explore page and try to choose from one of those posts because most likely those posts are one that's gonna blow up. Now you're probably thinking, well, yeah, you can say this, but can you prove it? And actually I can. Now, recently a lot of my posts on Instagram have been going kaboom. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and start off with just something simple, not an IG Reels, but a proper post. Now, the one that, now the post that got the most amount of likes for me uh, is actually this GTR post. I'm, I'm gonna pop it up over here. Now, there you go, just a picture of a GTR with a clear hood. I personally thought it was a pretty cool post. I also found it at the top of my explore page. Um, and then if we go ahead and click on insights, it's got 1,263 likes, which is honestly, an all, it's honestly, I don't want to say it's an all time high, but it's up there on posts that have gotten most amount of likes. It's reached 18,000 accounts. It brought me 17 profile visits, gained me 20 followers. Um, so yeah, as you guys can see, it definitely reached the Instagram Explore page. And if you find like on regular posts that tend to blow up, well, then you know which ones reach the Explore page because it will show you that Oh, certain, a certain percent of people aren't following your account and that's kind of some sort of indication that well yeah it did reach the explore page and that's good and yeah that's kind of it for now i thought this would be honestly a great time as only speeding my personal brand probably should have wore the merch for this video but uh yeah we hit 8,000 followers which is absolutely insane um we're coping for 10 before 2021 i think that's honestly a good goal and I believe maybe in like the last one or two weeks, we've gained close to a thousand followers. Um, we were in a huge dip. In fact, at one point I was going to sell the account for around 500 Canadian, or I guess it was like three to 400 American. Um, I was really considering selling it. It was at an all time low, like posts were getting like 56 likes and the usual was like, eh, three to 400. Um, so yeah, I was honestly, you know, kind of, kind of getting there on selling it, but good thing I didn't because about a couple of days after the transaction didn't go through, uh, we we actually started gaining a lot more followers as well as our engagement absolutely went through the roof. I believe at one point we were at 200,000 engagement, which is absolutely mind blowing. It's insane for such a small page. Super glad that uh, Only Speeding made a good comeback and I guess, um, and I guess what you can take away from this is just because your account goes down with personally, uh, it happens to me, like my highs are very high and my lows are very low. Uh, it seems to be the same way for TikTok, but especially on Instagram, when the highs are high, I'm getting insane engagement and then you kind of have to ride the wave as long as you can. But the issue is you never know when the wave's gonna end. 
So make sure you're taking advantage of every possible opportunity you have to blow up. So if you find posts that you think have a lot of potential, just post them, don't overthink them. Try to figure out what hashtags work for you best as soon as possible. Personally, to save time, I only use one list of hashtags and I figured that list of hashtags was simply posting a bunch of other people's posts using their hashtags until I got one post to blow up. And well, now I save a lot of time and I know those hashtags work because they've been bringing in good amount of engagement, likes and followers. And yeah, uh, that's actually it for now. Hopefully you guys took something away from this video. I've been working with Only Speeding for over a year now and hoping to do an insane merch drop at 10K followers, which honestly gonna be quite an awesome video for you guys. And yeah, finally, I'm gonna wrap up the video. That's for now. Make sure you guys go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the like, comment any questions you have. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to answer them. I've been working with theme pages for way too long. Uh, hit me up on TikTok. I post two to three times a day there, and I always update you guys there first. And yeah, that's it for now. Peace out.